hello. This was tough to outline. It really was. I'm aware, this video, I'm aware that we don't like to think of the following as being the truth, but I'm gonna say it anyway. And I'm so sorry because this is gonna hurt. They, the narcissist is more aware of what's going down the entire time they're with you, before they're even with you, than they would ever want you to be aware. They know they were going to blow things up. They see their patterns in life. Even if outwardly they try to place blame, they know, they know inside that nothing is quite right with them. Even if they don't know why, even if they convince themselves they didn't take any fault in it or responsibility or blame, even if they successfully within their brain convince themselves, oh yeah, it was always her fault. My pronouns, him, he, her, right, whatever. So you just insert yours there, right? So if he's going to, it's always her fault. They know they're dysfunctional in some way. They know whatever they call themselves. Well, I'm a snake. I'm a player. I'm a cheater. I vote. They might not know the extent of their disorder, but they know they have a pattern of dysfunction and a trail of people they've left behind. So they know before they even meet you. They know the next person they're going to be with, how it's going to play out. They might convince themselves in the beginning, oh, yeah, I really like this one. I can't imagine how many times a narcissist says that to themselves throughout their lives. And you know, their minds are never clear of ill intention and sincerely remaining focused on one. They're thinking of wayward ways constantly. They're thinking of wayward ways constantly. Would we have said yes if the truth was shown to us? Because they knew what they were doing they were who you wanted them to be on purpose and they lured you in you were their next game and we bought it but if they were giving us like a ps you know like the end of a, a letter we used to write letters <laughs> post script so ps what if they had a ps after everything they told us after every kind thing after every love bomb phrase, I worship you. I'm going to marry you. There's nobody. These are things I were told. Of course, we all hear the same things, I think. But I, I've never felt this way before in my life. I've never been in love before in my whole life. P.S. What if he said this? P.S. I'm telling others the same thing, and I intend to pursue them also. Think about if we were told the whole truth on the same day. That's in their brain that they already think. They already know it. They know that. And if they don't for a millisecond because they're having a good night with you and it's the first night, then whatever. But they know that about themselves. They're looking around the room right now seeing who could be the next target. It never stops. Or I want to grow old with you. I can see our lives together. P.S. I'm causing a breakup soon because I need variety. There's no one for me but you. In the world, I've never felt this way. No one's ever made me feel this way. P.S. I'm cheating on you. I'm going to lie about it, deny it, make you think you're insane for even thinking about it, make you feel bad for questioning me, and watch you claw your way back up. And I'm going to enjoy it. Watching you claw your way back up. They knew this would be the path. You would fall in love, or so you thought, for real in your mind. But if you had the rest of the information on the same day, would you have fallen in love? You would have rejected them. 
So pic re-picture those beginning days. Re I did. Oh, I re-pictured everything a million times with a PS after it. Made it easier to say, oh my God, that's the same guy. Knowing it's in their mind. If not those words, that feeling. They know it when they're saying it to you that they've said it to somebody else last month, tomorrow, yesterday. They know. They don't forget that they just said it to somebody. They say it to multiple people in their lives. And sometimes simultaneously, of course, with you. And I'm not saying people can't feel like that several times in their lives. And so therefore it doesn't mean anything. I'm not saying that. People can fall in love many times. What I am saying is it's part of their cycle with the devalue and they're a narcissist. Then that's what that is. So during love bombing, even though they don't know the definition, their cycle, whatever, they know that this is a pattern they repeat. They know they're trying to get this person to be with them right now. So they're going to say anything that they have to. And inside they have a little PS going on. She's going to believe me. I wonder if she believes me. Oh, this one's tough. It's going to take a little more work. I think it through what they think. This, this one's tough. She seems a little off. Hmm. I'm just up for this challenge. I wonder if I could woo her. I wonder if I can woo her in three days. I wonder if it'll take me a month. She seems pretty guarded. I'm going to have to lay it on thick with this one. But I can do it. I think I'm up for it. Boom. And they get you. They've just won something. I swear it's that insidious. It's going through their minds from the minute they meet us. And it's not fair because we don't have the whole story. We're only hearing what's coming out of their mouth. There's a lot of dual action going on in their brain. And see, they didn't really fall in love. We now know. And then change. It's the opposite. They, they were changed when they were acting like they were falling in love. And this is this PS guy, the guy that has all this going on in his mind. He had put on an affront and that was the change in the beginning of who he really is. Who he really is is the guy, you know, giving him the narrative the whole time. That he's trying to woo you. He's carefully calculating out what he's saying to you. And in the meantime, having these ill thoughts in between every sentence he says. That's the real guy. We only hear what comes out of his mouth. And we think that's him. Oh my God, I think about it and I just cringe. And they know what they're doing during the process. And they know you're going to cause trouble. I mean that they're going to cause trouble and wreak havoc on your life. They know they're going to cause trouble. They know you're going to fight to keep it. And that is going to entertain them. They might just be up for this for this time in their life. They might be having a down day, a down month, a down year. I'm just up for this game. When your heart's not invested... You can spend time with somebody and hurt them again and again and again and be fine. Your heart's not invested. You know, you think of yourself. I think of myself. I could never do that to somebody. I would be crushed. There's no skin off their back. They knew they were going to do it from the beginning. They just didn't tell you their whole truth. They knew. So they're not bothered. Oh, you can be safe with me. I'll never hurt you. I'm your guy. P.S. As soon as you're comfortable enough with me, I'm going to blow it up. I'll never betray you. P.S. Once you're just secure enough and feeling loved, I'm going to triangulate you with another person because I want to see how far I can push you. I want to see how far I can go. What you'll let me get away with. It's all part of the game. They did it with the last person too. And they have different stories of what every single person could put up with. Did, you know, deal with. How they dealt with it. I can't imagine the books they can write on the variant behaviors of abuse victims. And like my tolerance level might have been less than the girl before me, but not as much as the one after me. 
and I might have fought with him on this certain thing, but then this girl gives an easy time. But they're just in the mood. They might just be in the mood for this kind of game. And if you had the entire truth, you would have made different decisions. So I encourage you to go forward, especially if you're in the middle of it now. I want you to look at your narcissist. You might be sitting next to them tomorrow, tonight, after this video, while you're watching this with headphones. And look at them and think, yeah, they were that duplicitous. It was in their brain the whole time. It wasn't the romantic novel movie story. They fell in love and they were feeling the same as you and they felt genuinely euphoric and... No, that's not what happens with a narcissist. They act like that. It's a performance, just like a fictional movie that you're watching. It's a performance. They're mimicking what they see, what you know you like, what they know you like, what they've picked up on being a phrase you like or a manner you like them to behave or the way you wish a man would behave or something they heard you say to a friend that you like that, that the guy does. They're going to do anything and everything. It doesn't mean anything. In their head, they're thinking, P.S. 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 I've P.S.ed the entire two years. Almost to every single thing that he said, I can come up with something that he was probably thinking opposite when he said that to me. That's how far I've gone. And now he would say, if he were here, that's not true. I felt real feelings. You can't say that. You don't possibly know that. You can't possibly know that. Well, I can because of the behavior that I've seen since. Right? We talked about apologies and how if somebody were really sorry and really valued you and really wanted to show you and win you and have you and love you, they'd be here. They'd be here. They wouldn't be off. They'd be here doing the work. So I don't, you know what I mean? So definitely you, you were saying it the whole time. You didn't change into this person because nothing happened. Nothing happened bad in the relationship to make you do that. It was your cycle. It was your pattern. You knew it was going to happen. And I was just a stopping post for you on to your next thing. I guess. All right, I'll play for a while. She seems fun. Could it be that simple? Could it be that casual? Who knows how much thought they put into it? But I don't think it's very much. I don't think they give us very much thought at all. I think the entire time are self-involved thought processes that are just feeding what they need right now. Honestly, I think it's that unscrupulous. Whatever they need, whatever need they need filled right at that moment is what they'll go for without regard for anyone's feelings or you know, well, this one seems like a nice kid. Maybe I shouldn't do this. I even said to mine, I'm a good kid. You seem like a little, you come with like a thousand red flags. Please just move on. If you, you think he would have said, all right, yeah, she does seem like a good kid. They don't care. They don't care. They don't care. Can you imagine? So I want you to think of if you had the whole truth, if your narcissist was telling you the entire story of what's in their head. And you make your own imagination. You know, imagine your own PSs that they go through. But I can tell you this. And I'm sorry. I know it hurts. I know it hurts. But they knew it the whole time. From the beginning. From before they knew us. He already knows now wherever he is in life. My narcissist knows that forever he will have this unworkable angst within himself that will cause him to cause trouble for himself forever. He never bets on anything. That's a terrible way to live. And if you had the truth, you wouldn't have bet on him. You weren't given the whole story. You were not given the entire story. And that's not fair. It's not fair. Can you hear her snoring? I love that noise. Um, and if you were given the whole story, you would have rejected them on sight on the first moment that you heard any of those PSs. It's just a little thing that helped me. But think about it. 
Think about it. What they would be saying to you if they were actually speaking their truth is a lot different than what we've accepted as truth from them. They weren't being truthful. They were being manipulative and calculating and wonderful on purpose. That's not the same. That's not their truth. Just because they can get it out of it, that's not their truth. So I want you to give that some thought.